welcome. It's good to see you. Welcome to Good Morning Gaming. Uh, I don't remember what I called it. <laughs> this is my fourth official video with Good Morning Guys GMG, GMG Gaming with Mr. Ham, Mr. Pastor Ham, Lucas Ham Swisher. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. This stream is a conversational stream, so those that join me live, you are welcome to talk with me, chat with me. Um, also, for those who are watching on YouTube, you're welcome to comment below and join me in the future. I'm going to try to stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, at this time, 6.30 to 7.30. In the morning, I know it's early, but you know, some people like to wake up early, so hey, why not give them something to watch while they eat their breakfast or kind of get things started at work. Um, and then on Wednesdays in the afternoon, uh, it's Happy Hump Day, and we're going to be playing Jackbox games every afternoon from uh, about 1.30 to 3. So you're welcome to join me anytime. If you don't join me, you're also welcome to watch on the YouTubes, because I will not just be playing, but I'll be sharing stories about life, uh, just kind of like we, what we do on the show, you know, share. Uh, some days I'll share scriptures, some days I'll share... Uh, what's going on and what what happened this week in history um, sometimes we'll have a Q&A uh, I've, I've been streaming in total for probably three weeks now off and on trying it out and and man I'm not very good at it and uh, every day I do something dumb so uh, like yesterday when I was streaming Rayman for like 30 minutes. I forgot to turn on my microphone. Well, no, I plugged my microphone into my phone and thought it was in my controller. And since I didn't have it plugged into my controller, none of the voice went through. And uh, who knows what I even said. But I talked to myself the whole time. It was a good time. Um, but hope you'll be joining in the future. Hope we'll have lots of opportunities to uh, get to know one another and uh, hang out. So um, with that being said, Let's move forward with Foul Play. Uh, this is part four of Foul Play, and we're going to be starting Play 3. Um, and with Play 3, we're going to find out what's going on. I saw the trophy already, so it has something to do with the Kraken. Oh, it's called the Beast of the Docklands, so I imagine there's going to be a Kraken involved, maybe some pirates. There is a second mate that you have to take care of or find in five, under five minutes. Uh, the challenges are on the left. I'm a trophy hunter, so I enjoy these kind of things. Uh, I have to think about these kind of things because I want, uh, I want to get them trophies, man. Bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. I'm all about it. This one's about a 10 to 15 hour one from what I've read, uh, and I'm going to find out how many hours it takes. Uh, on these videos, though, I'm only going to be playing through the story. Any extra missions I'm going to do on the side on my own. Um, but. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And just to warn you, when we're playing, I do like to do voices from time to time, so pardon my terrible British accent or pirate accent or anything else. And of course, this is Dashforth, who has a uh, Sean Connery accent, which I think only makes sense. Here we go. Five years have passed, had passed since the events in Somerset. A new century had arrived. Just so you know, what happened in Somerset is he found his father's watch. And before that, in play one, he found his father's hat. So, if you're just joining me for whatever reason on part four, and you've missed part one, two, and three, feel free to watch those. But you don't have to. This isn't like an RPG or story-based Last of Us, uh, Naughty Dog, or anything that's like, you know, story, story heavy. But anyways, with that being said, um, remember if anybody joins me live, you may chat any time with me. That would be fan freaking tastic. Here we go. I had thrown myself into my father's research. If he was truly trying to contact me, I would find the means to respond there. How does that hat even stay on his bald head? Oh, and here's my, this is my little friend. Crunk Shanks. No, I don't remember his name. But he jumps in my pocket whenever the fighting comes, so he's not actually very useful. If I had a second player with me, he would probably play as that person, but I haven't figured out how to let 
people would join me or nobody really cares to join me so I'm just playing for your amusement and he's just there for fun for someone to for Sean Connery to talk to it was during that time we began to hear tales of ships disappearing off the coast of Bermuda I paid it no mind until sightings of a hideous tentacle creature began to surface we resolved to charter a ship immediately hey look a pirate or I take no fancy gentlemen aboard the dropsy wench and we promised not to bring any now where are you moored I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight him. Har, the answer's no, Mr. Dandy Forth or Mr. Sean Connery. Uh, suggestions, Mr. Scampwick? I'd work the kidneys first, sir. Uh, then go for a good old-fashioned shinbreaker. Oh, I just went into an Irish accent. I did not do an Irish accent last time. Uh, what was it? It was British. I'd work the kidneys first, sir. Nope, I'm, it's already it's too late. I'm already... We're going to do an Irish accent this time, just so you know Scampwick is now Irish. I'd work the kidneys first, sir, then go for a good old-fashioned shinbreaker. Yar, I'd like to see you try, pipsqueak. Then consider yourself incredibly fortunate, Captain Blowhard. And as one gentleman to another, might I suggest protecting your valuables? Yeah, just so you know, throughout this game, any of the big guys, they make mentions to kicking them in the crotch and doing things to really hurt them. So, just so you know. A little context there. All right, now we get to fight some pirates. And now Scampwick's gonna go in my pocket and be useless. So in this game, anytime a little, uh, like little, uh, whatever they're called, little lightning bolts go above people, they're about to, they're about to attack you. Oh, really, that guy hit me? They're about to attack you, and you can counter them by throwing them. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, as you can hear, I'm going to hit the button a lot and make lots of noise. I try to talk above it, but that's not always easy to do. Jeez, I can just hit this button over and over again and hit these guys. So I'm just going to do that. These guys are just going to keep coming at me, and I'm going to keep throwing them. And then they're going to keep coming at me, and I'm going to keep throwing them. Now I'm getting really close to it. All right, I did it. Nice. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. So anyways, hey, welcome, whoever joined me. My name's Lucas Ham Swisher. You're welcome to give your name, share your life. This is a conversational chat, even though you can't talk out loud, but you can type anytime. I'm playing a little... Uh, whatever this game's called foul play to beat up some baddies play style and uh, rock their world so it's good times glad you can ah uh, I just got whacked glad you can join me here we go alright we're off we're off to fight pirates pirates with clubs I don't remember pirates ever using clubs in any of the uh any of my history lessons are Pirates of the Caribbean movies that I've watched that are, you know, 100% historically accurate, as they should be. But it's weird, kind of weird to see them using clubs. This game does a lot of, as most brawlers do, there's a lot of clicking, a lot of button mashing involved. But there is method to the madness. I can't remember if I've mentioned in my past streams and videos, I think I have, but I am a missionary in Brazil and pastor, and uh, and so if, if you ever even want to talk about life, talk about things that are going on in life, oh that's a big dude, uh, you're welcome to do that any time. Yeah, now I can throw the big fatty. When you throw the little dudes at the fatties, uh, they also become throwable. Which is very important later on when you need to light someone up. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I saw that coming. I need to throw someone at him so I can throw him. There we go. Yeah, now I can throw the fat guy. Eat it, suckers. 
sometimes it's just, I just mash the throw button and it just throws over and over. It's actually not too bad most of the time. There's a lot of button spamming involved, it's obvious. But it'd probably be more fun with, you know, not being all alone. Someone to join you maybe, but it's all good. You gotta go with what you got. Right now I got two people with me, so... Ouch. I don't know why I use that, but this is your your double combo. It gives you the ability to get double the combos. Hey, there's my little pocket friend, Scampwick. Ooh, we get to find a big bearded pirate. He has a really high pitched voice, but I'm gonna go with the lower pirate sound. It is I, Gambler, the feared third mate of the dropsy wench. I'm sorry, I don't recall ever being so afraid, Arr. He's not ringing any bells, sir. Uh... Yeah. The time for talk is done. Let them sing songs of this battle. Really? Ah, oh, really? I thought I'd jumped in time. Yeah, eat it, sucker. Yeah, whack him. Yeah, just keep throwing. Can you imagine getting hit with all these people in the face like this? I mean, how many times do I have to... How many times do I have to throw people at him to uh, take him out? It's really ridiculous, the number of people that are being thrown into him. Oh, I think I killed him. Like, I threw him out of the... Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I threw him out of the level. That's really to think that that's what happened. And I keep... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. If there's someone to throw, that's all that really matters, so... There we go. Yeah. I love how they all wait their turn to jump at me and be thrown. Let's throw him to the other side, why not? Aha! Aha! You know, it took me like, I don't know, a good two hours to figure out that I could dash forward by tapping the R2 button. Oh look, a merman! Find the second mate. Oh, I really just have to kill these guys really fast. Really? I really need to throw these guys. There we go. Sometimes I can't see myself. And then I have to find the second mate somewhere. About this. Mamma oh, jamma. Wee. second mates in these boxes. I'm just gonna throw the boxes at the people.
have five minutes. I wonder if that's the easiest way to do this. I know the throwing them at people doesn't work too well. Like it takes forever. I don't think I'm going to make the time. I just have a guess. Press the parry button, it, thank you very much. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, challenge failed, I knew it. Oh well. Oh well, I'll just keep mashing these buttons to reach wherever the first mate is. Oh man, I was way off. How do you even find him in 10 minutes? That's crazy. I must have to... I don't know. I can't even begin to understand what the secret is to finding the first mate. I'm just going to throw these dudes over and over again until they... Until they bust stuff up. Like, I don't know if he's in a box. Like, if I just have to kill these guys really fast, I definitely need, like, I don't know, a perk or a charm. You can do get charms here. I have two charms on my character right now. I don't even begin to remember what they do, but they're there. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to chat with me. My name's Luke Sam, and uh, I don't just play and stream just for people to watch me play, because I'm not really that good. I play so people can join me in conversation, so chat, get to know me, I'll get to know you, and then check out the uh, kangaroo, alligator, and the lion peacock. This is a really weird place. I don't know what to think about that. Are you the second mate? Yar, it is a derose. What is a derose? The infamous second mate of the dropsy wench. Oh, that's the second mate. Can't place him. No. Behold the Fabian Barracorn, nature's cruelest mistake. Barracorn. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine. Oh, oh, it's just like Jurassic Park. Look at that. Shoot her. He's probably just fine. Oh my gosh, that's a freaky looking thing. My god. All the physical strength of a bear matched with the legendary rage of a unicorn. This is a weird boss. I love it. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, you cut up. Bring it, sunshine. Whoa, that's a lot of rainbows. Hi. Whoa, he just kicked me in the face. Alright, this is fun. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna keep throwing you at him. Because sometimes... Watch out for the rainbows! I'm just gonna keep throwing dudes at him. Well, I gotta hit him. I can't just hit myself. Yaw, eat it, Barracorn! Oh, I'm just hitting nothing. Glorious. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a bunch of people, so I should be able to... Oh my gosh! He definitely just threw me, and he's about to blow, blow his unicorn breath. Nice. I need to get in a better location. Because... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I thought I should have seen that coming. I just got hit with the rainbow breath. There we go. Alright, let's see if we're over here.
Ouch. Ouch. Alright, we're gonna spend some time throwing some dudes at him. See if that'll help a little bit. Ay, caraca, ay. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it's doing that much. I think my... My, uh... Oh, okay, when he's across the screen, that's a good time to throw bad guys. There we go. Took out the bear corn. Eat that bear corn. You got nothing on me. Those joining for the first time, I wasn't paying attention. That's too bad. Uh, feel free to chat in the chat room with me. Let me know where you're from, who you are. My name's Lucas and I'm from Brazil. Those watching on YouTube, well, you're gonna hear me repeat that a few times when new people come to the room and I just got bounced into the air. Yeah, how about them stunning pile drivers? I don't remember how I do that. Yep, I'm just blasting buttons at this point. Mashing them buttons. Oh, I want to bust those boxes. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Bust some boxes. Bust some faces. Yeah. Got nothing on me. Oh, I should have. Oh, that, that works. Oh, more dudes coming. Jump in the air. Oh, well, I'm going to take a break a second. So, just so you know, the verse of the day, uh, I'm a pastor, by the way, if you didn't know this. The verse of the day is Psalm 105.1. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he's done. And this morning, I want to tell you while I'm playing that I had something really cool happen uh, this morning. It actually was because of something bad. Last night, apparently, I, I left the light on in my car and when I did that as you know when you leave lights on in your car and it's not running uh, bad things happen and that bad thing did happen my car did not start this morning and my wife needed to get to work and one thing that was cool is that I actually had no idea what to do because I haven't met any of my neighbors so in the past when my car has gone dead I've uh, I found the person I like, closest that I know that can help me, and I've gotten their help. And so I thought, well, now it's time to meet a neighbor. And I went to my neighbor next door, whom I've heard speaking English a number of times through his window. I know it's kind of being a creeper a little bit because I'm listening to my neighbor's conversations. Uh, and I thought, well, he knows English, so worst case scenario, I can talk to him in English if I need to. I need to. Uh, <laughs> explain what's going on because sometimes I'm not sure what to say in English or in Portuguese uh, and when I buzzed the intercom the, the wife his the man's wife answered and she said well he's gonna be home in 10 minutes and I'm like fantastic well as soon as she said that he he pulled in no kidding like 10 minutes 10 seconds later not 10 minutes and he pulled in and I was like hey neighbor any chance you could help me? And I explained the problem, and he was like, uh, yeah, I don't have a cable. And I'm like, oh no, I've got the cable. I just need to jump. Which I still don't know how to say jump in Portuguese. But, uh, and he helped me. And he jumped the car, got my wife to work. She was only like, she only left like 10 minutes later than normal. Which, given the situation and given what happened, uh, it was amazing. Uh, it was really cool. And it was a reminder that, you know, God is good, and He provides what we need when we need it. He knew I was going to be a big doofus, and I was going to, you know, kill the car like that. Uh, the other thing to think about is in that scripture in Psalm 105 that talks about how great God is, uh, most of the scripture talks about all the bad things the Israelites did back in the day. And it reminded me of how I was an idiot by leaving the light on last night. And how, even though I was an idiot, God was so good, and... He, he gave us exactly what we needed. And so just a reminder to all those out there who maybe, I don't know, you don't have a good relationship with God or you've made a lot of mistakes, know that when you call on Him and when you ask for His strength and help, uh, He is faithful 
and he will he will help you and uh, you just have to have faith in him his son and uh, have faith in what he can do in the true life so uh, and I know my example is not like a miraculous thing uh, something that's just like wow amazing but just the timing of it all it was just a nice reminder that that God is good and that when we need him and when we ask for help he's always with us so if you have your own stories stories to share feel free to again chat in the chat room let me know uh, about it I'd love to celebrate with you because like the scripture says we're we're asked to to share all that he's done so uh, yeah for those joining us my name is Lucas Ham Swisher I'm a pastor and missionary in Brazil you can uh, feel free to chat introduce yourself while we play foul play and I'm gonna go back to my terrible accents and reading are it is a venerat Venart. What is a Venart? Oh, it is I, Venart. His name's v Venart. I'm so slow sometimes. It is I, Venart, the first mate of the dropsy wench and scourge of the oceans. We are suitably in awe. Isn't that right, Mr. Scapwick? Ah, well. Really? You're the first mate? You're so little. The other mates were big, huge men. Hey, there's the captain. I bet we're going to fight him next. If I were to guess. But who knows if it'll... Arr, so be it. You're welcome on board the dropsy winch. We finally proved we're no fancy men, Captain. Aye, plus I lost half of me crew in an entirely unrelated incident. You lads know how to work a topsail to the main beam? Not even vaguely. Good enough. Next stop, Bermuda. Well, there you go. Look at that. Encore time. Time to whack some fools. Thrilling on on I can't read. Thrilling on Carbonus. Thrilling on Corbonus. Fantastic. New page unlocked. New move unlocked. We did not find the second mate in under five minutes. I'll have to go back and do that another time. That is too bad. A so sad. Well there you go. That concludes play. Three, Act One. Uh, I think I'm going to post my videos in sections and acts. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to take just a momentary break to stop. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart because I'm trying to read at the same time. I'm going to take a break a moment and uh, go to Act. I'm going to go to Act Two next of Play Three. And so you can join me there if you'd like. If not, you can uh, check out our other videos on the Good Morning Guys uh, Gaming YouTube channel. And uh, beyond that, you can also check us out every Thursday morning for the Good Morning Guys uh, podcast. We... Oh my goodness, I'm like having trouble here. <laughs> Sorry, I don't always have these troubles talking, but I'm just blanking. Uh, but you can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, all the major podcasts you can find. And you can uh, listen to us as we talk all about games, sports, video games, and even life, which is can be the most difficult game of all, which we shouldn't do alone. And so that's why the Good Morning Guides exist, because we want to join you in that, inspire you. Uh, again, it's a, it's a pleasure to be a part of your lives and again if you want to chat with me uh, you can find me on Twitter at MTTG Brazil team um, and you can chat with us here through the YouTube you can find us on you can also find our podcast on YouTube at uh, the GMG podcast um, it would be a, a pleasure to get to know you and connect with you so 
God bless. Thanks for those who are listening. And join me next time for Play 3, Act 2, as we continue to sail the seven seas. Talk to you later, friends, and take care.